May I come in, sir? Yes, come in. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please take a seat. Thank you, Which sir. is your first name? How do I call you? Sir, you can call me as Sri Teja. Sri Teja, my fine. Full, my full name is Kugila Mahar Sri Teja. Yeah, sir. So, Sri Teja is okay? Yes, sir. Well, Sri Teja, right. Uh, can we do without mask for a few minutes, please? Sure, sir. Uh, okay. For the sake of clarity. Thank you, sir. So, Sitheda, you are based in Andhra Pradesh? Yes, sir. Studied also? Yes, sir. At Andhra Andhra Pradesh? Pradesh. Jawaharlal Nehru? Technological University. That was from Telangana, sir. Good. And uh, schooling? Schooling was from Dr. KKR's Gautam Concept School, Nillore, sir. This is uh, the AP board? Yes, sir. Fine, good. Let's talk about that. Let's start with your with the uh, schooling part, not yes. about your school in general. Now, this reminds me that you did from AP board, I did from CBSC. I yes, meet a lot of young people like you who are doing CBSC and various other state boards. Yes, we have a large number of boards in India, yes, sir. which is a little unusual. Nowhere in the world it is like this. So, there has been a demand from time to time, and I am a big supporter of that, that there should be one board in India. Just as our Prime Minister keeps on saying, one India, one tax, one India, one election. So I say it should be one India, one board that will help in uniformity, particularly from the point of view of admissions in universities. Yes. Because all every university hasn't got an entrance exam. Right? But some people don't agree with me. They say board should be in every state. What is your point of view? Do you agree with me or not? Sir, I would partially agree because partially in the sense? Partially in the sense uh, I would mostly agree with your uh, point of view, sir. I, I would also suggest one country, one board. Yes. But the issue what arises is with respect to their mother tongue. Doesn't matter. Mother tongue will continue. No problem. Even today, we have CBSE schools everywhere from Delhi to Andaman. Yes. It's not that they uh, are not allowed to teach uh, the mother tongues. In different states, uh, language as well as culture will depend on the place. I am in favor of that. Then it is okay. Yes, sir. Then that one is board fine. is okay? Sure, sir. Definitely. Right. So, I have got a young man in my favor. Mm -hmm. uh, I, have take, I have taken it up with the government also a few years back, but somehow it has not happened till today. We will take it up again. Sure, sir. Definitely. Okay. I would be Do you read newspaper or, or watch the news on the TV? Yes, sir. Or net? Not, not frequently, but I do watch, sir. Okay. Elections are going on. Yes, sir. Which are the, the states in which elections are on? Sir, it was it is Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Goa, and uh, Manipur, sir. One more. Sir, Uttarakhand. Uh, yes, sir. Uttarakhand. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry, sir. It's not uh, there anywhere on your side of the country. This is for say, electing. Sir, it is for electing uh, state constituencies and member of parliament, sir. Member of parliament. MPs. Sure. MPs. No, no, no. no sir, sir. I was what. The, Thinking it is MLAs. So let me ask you then what is the difference between MP and MLA? Sir, a member of parliament is uh, with respect to the Lok Sabha, they constitute. And uh, uh, what about Rajya Sabha? Is it in parliament or is it in state? Sir, it is in parliament. Is it in parliament? Yes, yes sir. How, <coughs> so how are members of Rajya Sabha elected? Sir, uh, I have never voted for them actually. That's yes, why sir. I'm asking you. Sir, it is actually called as upper house of parliament. Upper house. They are elected uh, directly by the people in uh, Lok Sabha, sir. By the people in Lok Sabha, sure. Yes, no, not really. Uh, you don't like the subject, it doesn't matter. Let me ask you a, a more common subject uh, which we keep on hearing of. What do you understand by the term black money? Sir, uh, black money in the sense it is illegally or... Uh, it is illegal, illegally acquired. I illegally acquired. Sir. No, no, I know many people who have got black money but they do legal business. If very often we read in the newspaper that well-known business people who are doing yes, business sir. from whom you are buying your shirts and ties, they also have black money. Yes, sir. By evading taxes. By evading tax. Mm -hmm. That's the right answer when income on which tax is not paid. Which tax we are talking about? There sir, are many taxes in the country. Yes, Which sir. tax? Sir, uh, in general it is GST. No, this particular state. one. Yeah, it can be in, It can yes, be sir. any tax. Yes. What is GST? Sir, goods and services. What tax are the items tax. on which GST is levied? 
sir it, there are almost all the almost items. all uh, can you tell me some of the slabs of gst sir i'm sorry sir percentage never been to a restaurant with yes, 5% I have been, gst i have seen sir hmm? yes. so 9.5% for the restaurants and it's 5% uh, i believe on the food from the restaurants no sir anyway it doesn't percentage is not important can you tell me some items in which there is no gst but maybe some other taxes sir uh, no there's a lot sir, of controversy sir. on that very often we see debates petroleum petrol petrol yes hmm. sir taxes are there but uh, more than the gst yes sir right. so i was just thinking whether it was yes. the case or not petrol okay okay last question name one more important tax other than gst in india which is uh, equally important sir vat it is vat right instead of vat this has come actually indirect tax in gst have you not heard of income tax and corporate tax yes sir yes hmm? sir i'm sorry do you not pay tax. you know you don't pay tax because you have not started earning it yes sir no you have no, you have, have been working sir, in lnt but i was not in the tax lab sir no you are not i said lnt was not paying you good enough <laughs> that's right <why. laughs> okay. but when you join the service here you will be in the tax lab the government yes, will pay you well yes you know that i have seen the pay okay service. thank you sir mr sridhar can you sir. please describe your job profile sure sir my organization uh, actually it was divided into two segments the automotive and electronics segment i was allotted to the automotive segment with respect to the uh, two tier organization actually i worked entirely on the exhaust department exhaust department is basically divided into two segments the hot end and the cold end hot end is that segment which begins immediately from the uh, engine and cold end is that that begins from the hot end region the end of hot end region and my role in the organization was to perform vibration analysis on the hot end region sir hmm. hot end segment components you do the vibration analysis yes sir i do the vibration analysis how do you do it sir with using software we use we basically mesh it on the hypermesh software and later we use nastran software to perform the vibration analysis sir no on what which item do you carry out the <coughs> vibration analysis sir the entire hot end segment which comprises of the container the insulator segment the pipe segments and the uh insulating materials that are present inside the mm -hmm. uh, hot end segments sir do you use any equipment to measure the vibrations yes sir we what do. is the name of the equipment sir actually we generate vibrations using a machine but uh, to measure the vi vibrations we use sensors which are generally known as the accelerometers sir accelerometers yes sir okay very good which are your favorite subjects sir my favorite subjects are theory of machines fluid theory mechanics and okay. thermodynamics sir what else fluid mechanics and thermodynamics sir okay uh, are you familiar with the ic engines yes sir i am you are familiar yes sir how do you measure what is the formula for the speed of piston sir the speed of piston is actually uh, it is measured in the rpm but when it comes to the speed of piston we use the formula r omega into sin theta plus sin 2 theta by 2 n sir piston is going up and down yes sir there is no omega business sorry it's only a linear movement yes sir isn't it yes sir. so what is the significance of omega in this sir the omega is the crank what is the formula speed, can you write down the formula yes, for sir. speed of the piston mm. yes sir what is theta sir theta is the uh, angle rotated by the crank sir <coughs> with respect to the top dead center piston is going up and down linear yes sir where is the question of theta sir uh, it is actually the piston is moving because of the crank sir the let it piston move. speed the piston speed varies with respect to the speed of crank see this is the cylinder this is the piston it's going up and down Yes sir. Okay. Yes sir. So in one revolution how much will it travel? It is 2 pi sir. It twice the distance twice the distance of uh, stroke. No, that's not correct. So only 2 ln. This is the speed of the piston. 
sorry, sir. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What is the purpose of a catalytic converter? Sir, the purpose of catalytic converter is to uh, reduce the uh, exhaust gases, sir, from... Reduce the exhaust gases? Not, sir, by oxidizing the exhaust gases such that they are not harmful when they are emitted outside. How is it done? Sir, by using the catalytic converters, they are, uh, we use the catalysts like platinum, palladium and rhodium. They mm. reduce the carbon monoxide and uh, other uh, harmful gases okay. such that they do not harm the environment. Okay. Good, good. Have you worked on some machines or measuring instruments, machines? No, sir, I haven't worked on them. In your engineering college, did you see a lathe or something like that? Yes, sir, yes. Did you see vernier caliper, micrometer? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. Tell me, how do you measure this depth? This is a small uh, cylindrical piece. Yes, sir. Okay. I want to measure the depth from here to here. Can you think of something? Yes, sir. We can use vernier calipers. How shall we measure it with the help of vernier? Sir, the end of the vernier calipers has an protruding element. Yeah. When we move the scale, it moves outside. Okay. And as a result, by using the vernier calipers vertically, we can measure the depth, sir. Mm -hmm. Very good. How do you manufacture this? This is a T bolt. Yes, sir. Okay. How do you manufacture this? Sir, by using lathe machine, we can manufacture by it. You, this is a square piece. Square piece, sir. You can see that. Yes, sir. Rectangular yes, sir. piece. Yes, sir. How do you measure? Uh, how do you manufacture it? What, what material you will take first of all? Sir, we can use mild steel, sir. Mild steel. What what type of mild steel? Will it be round bar? Will it be square bar? What will it be? Sir, uh, we can use any of the material, sir. But generally, we prefer using round bars. Round bar. Okay. <laughs> then what will be the first operation on this? Sir, uh, the first operation will be hammering, sir. Eh? Hammer. Hammer. Hammering, yes, sir. By heating it and uh, shape, bringing the shape of circular round to square shape, and then by using the shaping machine, we can uh, adjust by the dimensions. By using the shaping machine. Yes, sir. Okay, doesn't matter. What is knocking? Sir, in knocking. an engine, IC engine. What What do you understand by the term knocking? Sir, knocking is a phenomenon that generally occurs in the IC engines, wherein and another frame front, flame front other than the flame front from the spark engine, a spark ignition is produced mm. such that the, both the flame fronts collide and produce an, uh, ups, ups, a huge noise such that mm. the, there is a huge sound from the engine, sir. No, why, does the, why does the second flame come? Sir, it is because of the hot spots in the engine where the uh, temperature is significantly higher than uh, hmm. the ignition point such that another flame front begins from that region, sir. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, supposing you have a closed room yes, and you put a refrigerator, yes, right? Open the door of the fridge. Okay? Okay, sir. And uh, start the fridge. Sir. Will the room get cooler or hotter? Sir, the room gets hotter, sir. Why? Sir, it is because uh, the within the closed environment, the heat rejected is higher than the cooling, sir. Pardon? The heat rejection from the refrigerant is, refrigeration is greater than the cooling, sir. Why so? Sir, it is because within the closed environment, the same air is circulated. Uh, the cooling effect produced is relatively lower than the uh, Heat is that that is released no, whatever, because whatever uh, cool this thing is coming out of the fridge. Yes, sir. That is being dissipated by the air. Yes, sir. At but the back. So yes, should it not remain same? No, sir. It is because we are produce we are supplying the work to the refrigerator for functioning. So that energy is dissipated into. It's the basically because of the friction losses. Yes, sir. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. What is upper critical temperature in heat treatment? Upper yes, critical. Sir. Have you heard the name upper critical? Yes, sir. Now, what is it? Sir, upper critical temperature, uh, it is that temperature wherein the 
चेंज इन फेज अकर्स ऑफ अ मेटीरियल चेंज इन फेज अकर्स फ्रॉम फ्रॉम वॉट टू वॉट सर इट मे बी फ्रॉम विद इन दॉलिड फेजेस लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्योर लाइट टू आल्फा का आल्फा फेरेट नो अपर अपर क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर कैन इट बी फ्रॉम फ्रॉम प्योर लाइट यस सर नो इन टू दाइट इफ द मटीरियल इज एट दी अपर क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर विल पेर लाइट एग्जिस्ट देयर एट ऑल नो सर देन वाई वेर कम्स टू दी ट्रांजिशन सर द ट्रांजिशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू हर्ड द नेम ऑफ ऑस्टेनाइट यस सर ऑस्टेनाइट इट्स चेंजिंग फ्रॉम ऑस्टेनाइट यस नॉट फ्रॉम पेर लाइट गामा ओके so can you define what is the use of slip gauge <coughs> sir slip gauge is a measuring instrument it's actually uh, provides standard for measuring sir what are the different types of slip gauges we are using sir uh, there are actually different types of slip gauges like m45 <coughs> and m90 okay In any specific use so okay, uh, where is m45 we are using for which case we are using m90 sir uh, for more accuracy for up to four decimals we use m90 slip gauge set sir okay. and for lesser accuracy we use up to two to three decimals we use m40 okay uh, what is the meaning uh, what is the significance of this auto collimator sir auto collimator is used in measuring the surface roughness sir hmm. sir uh, the waviness and the surface roughness can be measured using the auto collimator such that the uh, distance traveled by the light the difference between the actual focus point and the distance moved by the light is the surface roughness side sir it is the most accurate method or is there any any other method also available for measurement of this accuracy yes sir there are many methods available for right. example tally sir hmm. and uh, sigma comparators we can use sir, for surface okay. roughness measurement um can you define uh, what is the concept of this six sigma sir six sigma is uh, generally used in manufacturing industry mm. to achieve higher quality mm. as a result the number of uh, components that rejected are very much reduced it is its accuracy is up to 99.97% okay can you define quality in single line sir what it stands quality sir quality is within the tolerance limits so that the it is it satisfies the user requirements okay any other way no i'm sorry sir okay <clears throat> what is the difference between thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity sir thermal conductivity is such that when externally heat is applied the rate at which it transfers within the body and mm. thermal diffusivity is whenever the heat is generated inside the body the rate at which it diffuses from the body okay so when i am seeing your def so you have chosen gsi engineering as your last choice yes sir and the first choice is central electrical and mechanical engineering services yes sir. okay so what is the reason behind this sir uh, it because is the first uh, jo choice uh, first choice is indicating it's a mixture of mechanical as well as electrical department yes, but sir. as as i know uh i think you are mechanical engineer so why you have not chosen central water engineering services or defense where the 100% of the work is related to your field sir with respect to geological survey of india it is it was just a relative opinion hmm. but when it comes to the central engineering and mechanical services i thought that it would, there would be a diversity within the department so that i can learn much more so what kind of diversity uh, you have uh, find out in this sir you have got some information from your seniors or from google or something else yes sir what type of kind what type of work they are doing sir it it majorly relates to the construction and uh, field work and sometimes mostly construction sir okay any other uh, role of central electrical department <clears throat> i'm sorry sir i'm not you know about the tariff system yes sir yes sir so what is that <clears throat> what is abt availability based tariff system on the basis of which the present working power plants are working no sir i am not aware with respect to that sir so this is the work of central electrical department so i think you have to prepare this okay now the uh, my uh, next question is 
कि विच विल प्रोड्यूस आई थिंक यू हैव टोल्ड थर्मोडाइनमिक्स ऑल्सो ना यस फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट तो विच विल प्रोड्यूस मोर पावर आउटपुट मैक्सिमम पावर आउटपुट आउट ऑफ सुपर हीटेड स्टीम और सैचुरेटेड स्टीम इन वाई सर इट इज सुपर हीटेड स्टीम वाई सर इट इज बिकॉज द डिग्री ऑफ सुपर हीट इज हायर सच दैट वी कैन एक्सपैंड द स्टीम टू द लार्जर एक्सटेंड ओके वट आर द वेज इन द पावर प्लांट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू रेंकाइन साइकिल इफ आई विल टॉक अबाउट तो वट आर द डिफरेंट वेज इन विच द सुपर हीटिंग ऑफ द स्टीम इज अचीव सर दे आर एक्चुअली थ्री स्टेजेस ऑफ सुपर हीटिंग सुपर सुपर हीटिंग रेडियंट सुपर हीटिंग एंड पैंड एंड सुपर हीटिंग एंड द फ्लू गैस इज कमिंग इन कॉन्टेक्ट विद विच सुपर हीटर फर्स्ट मीन्स कैन यू डिफाइन द फ्लू गैस पाथ सर द फ्लू गैस ट्रेवल्स फ्रॉम पैंड एंड सुपर हीटर फर्स्ट then the radiant superheater and the convector superheater sir sure yes sir in the boiler boiler furnace the flue gas is first making contact with which superheater pendant radiant or convective take time sir in my opinion it is pendant superheater radiant first it is making contact with radiant okay uh my last question <clears throat> what is the significance of reheat factor sir uh, reheat factor indicates the process that uh, how much it is deviating from the actual process sir uh, reheat factor is generally defined as the isent isenthalpic sorry sir isentropic enthalpy drop to the actual uh, enthalpy drop i think your intention take some time and then give me the answer what is the yes, definition sir. of reheat factor and then why what is the physical significance of reheat factor with respect to power plant i am talking reaction turbines sir reheat factor is actually the isentropic enthalpy drop with respect to the uh, actual enthalpy drop actual uh, drop in enthalpy that takes place cumulative addition of isentropic enthalpy drop across the stage to that of overall isentropic enthalpy drop for the overall stage yes. why we are measuring this factor sir to see how much it is deviating from the actual process okay my last question like you there are so many engineers are coming for the interviews for the engineering sir. services so what is the different in you in comparison to the other because sir. all are hard working yes sir that's why you are here and all other students are here yes sir then what is the difference sir uh, <coughs> some qualities in which i admire myself is time planning time management and planning before anything sir the time management without time management i generally uh, skip doing anything and with respect to the uh, planning which is very much part of my life because everything what we do is planning phase and that we execute in the next stages so these two are the special qualities i like in myself okay so sir the interview for the day is over thank Please you please wait outside for a minute we'll call you again for the feedback sure sir thank you sir sit down now and relax why are you under pressure <laughs> this is a mock what will happen in upsc then Mm-hmm. you still have about 15 days time you can take another mock if you like or otherwise uh, sit down with your friends and speak and, and do the pra- little more practice not that uh, your communication is not good communication is good but maybe you are not used to offline interviews yes sir online is a different game isn't it this is the uh, first time and there not <laughs> technical part uh, my friends will tell you not technical part you are okay i find uh, you to be a pleasing personality only thing is because in upsc also generally chair person will be non technical he will ask you from two places either from your daf of or the current affairs i ask mostly from the current affairs so do a little brushing up on that to, uh, sure, to, although it's a technical service but it's a personality test also Yes. so you are the upsc prospectors also says the candidate should be aware of the surroundings yes. so you should just i asked you about elections i asked you about the little bit about economy that is in the news yes sir so next 15 days i am not asking you much but spend half an hour to one hour every day on that 
good enough. Sure, you will sure. make a good impression. Okay. Sure. Things which are going on, say front page of the newspaper and the main, the main news on the TV, just see the basics related to that. Because it's not acceptable that you do not know the difference between MP and MLA. Yes, sir. At this stage of your life. That's not good. Yes, that, because it, it, you will start with these questions. And if the beginning is not good, <coughs> confidence level goes down. Yes, sir. So if you answer these questions correctly, you will be higher in confidence when you come to the technical side. Okay? Sure, Take sir. care of that. Thank technical sir will tell you. See, whatever you have answered here yeah, yeah. is mm. totally incorrect. So you need to go and uh, read the book again. And similarly, for the upper critical temperature, you were saying per light and all that is also not correct. You have to read the things a little more again, understand, right? Sure, sir. Uh, and before you start answering the uh, question, you should uh, pause and think what you are answering. Uh, you know, most of the things are uh, slightly absurd type of thing. Mm, sir, is correct. I think sir has asked the speed of the question. Yes, and in the numericals, we have sold so many times yes, this, this thing. Yeah. In the numerical parts also, in the main exam. Yes, sir. Like that, I have asked, uh, I think, read factor. I have asked um, so many things, two, three things. Superated seam, saturated seam, these things. Yes, okay, sir. convection, radiant, pendant. These are not new things. I think you are in pressure. Because of that only, you have <coughs> given the wrong answer. And sir has rightly said, he just think. Take some seconds before answering. Okay, don't be in hurry. Don't be in pressure. And one more thing, when I am asking the question and uh, you are giving the answer and you are making con eye contact with me only. So in that case, you have to make a proper eye contact with other members also. Sure, sure. Otherwise, uh, you will they will lose confidence in you. Okay. So when you are answering the question, so in that case, in uh, some time, in some second, for some seconds. Make up eye contact with other members also. Sure, sir. Yes, you are a good candidate. Thank Go you, with this and all the best. Thank you, sir. Thank Today you. we have given you 110 marks out of 200. But you have potential to get another 20. You can go up to 130 or so. Thank you, sir. Sir, yeah. any other areas where I can... I don't think actually uh, when, when you're sitting, you're always pressing your thumb and hands. So that that's showing, you know, nervousness. In Nervous. <laughs> nervousness is there. Man. <laughs> you just need to just keep your hands gently. Yes. Well, little thighs. pressure will be there in UPSC. When you go Not to UPSC really. for the first time, some pressure will be there. But oh. some nervousness is natural. Mm. Believe me, everybody is nervous. And a little nervousness helps you in performing your best. Don't worry about that. But not too much. About to be called. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. That's so don't, the best time of life. When you come out, you will be happy. And keep you, smiling. Thank you, sir. Okay? Thank you. All the best. Thank you, sir. Thank you.